Hey guys, okay, here's a, I got a dream last night, um, it was different, different type of dream. Now I was asking about, I wanted to, I, you know, I'm just bitching to Christ, and, um, uh, I want a time machine, like my own, like, you know, people have iPhones, well, I want a time machine, so I can go back in time and take video photos. Hey, it's a good fantasy, why not, right? I got nothing else to bitch about, so I was a, I was a plan on that. Anyway, so I bitching to Christ about time, and I go, is there like time you could do, time traveling you can do where you are when, 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 we, when we die? Can you like time travel and all that? And he, doesn't, he didn't, I was just bitching. I didn't. He didn't answer me. If he did, I didn't hear it because it's really getting hard to hear now. I can only really hear him talk to me first thing in the morning as soon as I wake up. So the last two days I've been bitching about that. I want a time machine. And, uh, you know. And So last night I uh, had this dream where I'm with two other guys and a girl maybe two girls and we're all white guys and we're dressed in old clothes and we're living out we're living out I don't know it's like a little farm community a little little town something and it's like it's like uh, horse and buggy days just when the first settlers got to North America or a little after that, somewhere in there. And it was all horse and buggies, there was no technology. And so we're living in this like wooden cabins and things, wooden house, and there's a store and everything. But anyway, there's a war going on somewhere, and the soldiers are coming to this town, they're gonna fucking kill everybody in it. I just swore. <laughs> they're gonna kill everybody in it, and we're in it. We live here, right? So we gotta get out of here. So they're coming, and we're. We're like in a little, little housing by ourselves, a little housing area. And then there's the bigger town, which is just a little tiny wooden village. Like you got your saloon and your church and your couple houses and the cops and you know, like that. But this is out in a forest. It's like in a forested area down south. And so, also we decided we got to pack, we packed our, what we could. We didn't have, I didn't have a gun. I, I had a knife, I had a knife. I had some survival gear we grabbed and we just booked it and took off running. So we're, we're running north and we're all white, okay? So this is not, this is not the Black Railroad thing. This is, or maybe in the same time era, but whoever these soldiers were, they were, they were coming and they were gonna kill us. So anyway, we started running north and we had to run, not like North America. Like, we didn't run across North America. We were just running north, like, through the forest. So we're running through the forest. And this is like three or like a week we ran. And so we're running down the old dirt dirt road at night. We always went at night. And we sleep during the day. And we ran down the dirt road. And then we knew we're a, a hunting trail or... A, an Indian trail, leftover Indian trail used to be, so we took the Indian trail, and the hunters, and I was a hunter, I knew where all the, in the general area where I lived, all the trails were, stuff like that. And the hunters would use the, Indi the old Indian trails to hunt. I didn't know that, I didn't know none of that until I woke up this morning. Pretty cool, eh? So anyway, <laughs> I knew where the trails were, right? So the old Indian trails that they used to cross and travel, and I knew where they were, so we took them. So that gave us an advantage of getting the hell out of there before, because they had, there were trackers, and they had dogs and guns and everything, and they're coming to get us, like Civil War type back in them days. Anyway, so we're running, we're running, we're running, and we come to a graveyard. The first place we came to was a graveyard, and the graveyard was just outside of town, and. Um, it had a black, black iron type fence with the spikes on top around the graveyard. So we, I helped the girl over, I helped a couple guys and they helped me over the fence. 
and we started running. We ran through the graveyard, then got on the trail again, started running again. Then we ran for like all night, and we had to start looking for a place, and I knew where a place was, so we're getting closer to it. Or I didn't know, we knew, I don't know if I knew, but we were getting closer to this place. And so we're, as we're getting closer, we're looking for lights, right? Like candle lights in the windows and, and lanterns and stuff, looking. And we kept looking for that, and then we found the lantern in the window, so we knew the farm was there, but we didn't want, we didn't know if the, the farm people were psycho killers or not and shoot us for trespassing, right? So we ran through this cornfield, we come to the house, and we sneak, we sneak into the barn, I think it's a barn, we sneak into the barn. And we're safe, and then some. Then we were seen. Then the guy came out with his gun, and he was. And we said, "Hey, we're just running from the the troops are coming. You know, they're way back there. We just need a place to crash for the night." He's like, "Okay, that's cool." He goes, "I hate them fuckers anyway." So he he didn't mind that we stayed there. So and he said, first late you get out of here, get running, right?" And I'm like, "Yep." And so we hunger down for the day in the barn and sleep then night comes we get up and we start running again and then we come we're running we're running and we come to another all, all night long we run and i lost we we're just running blind like following trails blind trails like i didn't know anything where they were at this point like i'm two days out two days almost two days out from where i know my area of where i know and uh we're running we're running and then we come to another one, we come to another house, same thing, we sneak around, we sneak in to the, the animal shed or whatever the hell it is, the barn, and there's horses and cows and things, and, um, sorry, I gotta get this part of the, okay, so we run, we run, we run, we come to the barn, same thing happens, we try to sneak into the animals and we'll be out as soon as we can or we just want to hide and see what's going on have a rest sort of thing and then uh, the kid comes out the kid comes out sees us and we tell him hey we'll get your dad get your dad you know so the dad comes out we tell him he says the same thing we're all good we hide spend the night take off in the morning he gives us some food and stuff and water and anything else we might need we take off we're running again same thing happens we run all day through the trails and everything then we get then we get to another house, same thing happens, and we meet, and it was so real, it was very real, like, it was real. And uh, we come to another village town, it was three days away, and we're just outside of this little village or town, and we come there, we, st we try to sneak in but the guy sees us on his porch and he runs over the shotgun and uh, he said I start talking to him about what we're doing and how come we need to spend the night here and he goes he goes okay yeah that's cool and then I reach out and we sh we shake hands and he smiles on me right he's like yeah <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what the hell I don't know what the hell that was about I'm just looking at this and then I wake up and I'm like, wow, it was so real. Like, I'm sweating because I was running all night. And um, let me see here. Oh, so as soon as I wake up, I Christ is there. So I ask Christ. I go, hey, one of the Christ, the one that's helping me heal. I ask him. I go, hey. I go, is that one of my past lives? he goes, I don't know, it's your dream. <laughs> I'm like, well, that, ain't, that don't help me out, right? And I go, well, it was a dream about we were running from soldiers through the forest and Indian trails and going from town to town. And he, I think he knows, right? Because as I'm dreaming this, my spirit, my innocence is telling him everything. Everything. I can't get away with nothing. He yaps all day, all night. So I know Christ is has been listening. So I go, all right, cut, this, cut it, you know, I know, you know. And I go, well, what was that? And he goes, and then I hear him go, well, I, I just ask, I go, 
well, tell me, what was it? It's a past life, or or, is, or was I living, reliving something that happened? Was I taking on the persona of something that happened? And then I remembered I wanted a time machine, right? And that's in my head, and I'm thinking that, and so I just let it go. And I was getting up, and I was getting up, going to get a coffee, and I hear Chris go, I got an answer for you. And I'm like, okay. And he said, The river, the river you've seen is a long one. The river you've seen is a long one. And I'm like, ah. so that gave me a clue to what happened in the dream and what the dream was about. Because was I taking on the persona of characters that was already written in history, right? Or was that my past life I was reliving? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But with his answer, I got the river you're you're on is a long one. Now the river is a timeline, okay? The timeline, the river, it flows in one direction, and you're on it. So somewhere, you can get on and off the river at different points and relive that experience. I've already done that with the mastodons and other things in dreams and explain the dreams explain to me how it happened so one and that's another video i gotta make if my youtube channel comes back i don't have to but nevertheless it was interesting because the river you're you're the river you you seen the river you seen that's the river yeah it goes the river you seen was a long one now if it goes the river you are on is a long one that's totally that's me you are on my life my life all my lifetimes but he said the river you've seen so that's someone that's another experience another Christ person had I was reliving through Christ on that the river I seen so I was seeing someone else's experience so within Christ consciousness, you can see other people's experiences. Christ does this all day long, right? But when you go to sleep and you bring Christ into you, Christ consciousness into you, and bring it right into your head and you fall asleep, you get all the answers that you need, that you're thinking about during the day. So you, whatever you're thinking about during the day, I wonder what that means, what that means, how does that work, what's going on, all your problems are getting sorted through Christ consciousness and you get what you need to heal right so and that happened like to me before I, w I was in Christ consciousness but it, it was more like through my spirit but now that I bring Christ consciousness in and do it I get all my answers so the question I was asking myself was past um, uh, I wish I had a time machine so like a physical one I want to go physically right but it's always spiritual and I go, yeah, no, it's spiritual. You can do anything in spirit. But you know what? I want to videotape it here and now. And he goes, well, you know, order it up. <laughs> Until then, it ain't going to happen, right? So I'm like, yeah, whatever. So that that was a pretty good answer for me. And I just figured that out, that I seen someone else's timeline. The river you've seen is a long one. I think maybe I, I don't know maybe it was important parts throughout history of uh, coming to North America it's crazy but anyway there's a lot more to this timeline stuff I want to get into I just find it fascinating and I wish I could do it at will you know what I mean I wish you just meditate and go But no, it happens random in dreams. You can play in your head all you want. To me, it's just fantasy, right? When you lay down and meditate, and there's two ways you can do it. You can bring your heart to your head and go with the visualization. But you always question it because you're in your conscious, conscious mind. 
but when you're asked for it and you go into into the past or the future it's a whole different experience it's a whole different feel that's where I want to go it's like more real than this real it's more real than physical that's where I want to go consciously and I know people say, well, I do it all the time. No, you don't, but whatever. Because I play, I can play, I play stuff in my head when I fall asleep at night. I fantasize, if you can believe, and it's, it is damn real. To me, it is. Like, I scare myself. But it's just fantasy. It's just creating your reality, creating fear, creating fun, creating whatever through your own thing. But when you are, when, when it happens to you at night, it's a totally different experience because, I don't know, it, it's hard, it's like, your experience, you're having, you're being shown it to the question you answered. To, your, the question is answering your question. Yeah, whatever, fuck. I'm getting wing-wonged in my head. Anyway, shipped them. It's pretty good stuff, man. And so I know it wasn't my experience, but it was someone else's experience I was experiencing from what Christ said. The river you seen is a long one. So pretty cool. It was I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't. If I get more information, I'll make, make a better video. That's why I cut this video up and edit it and everything. Alright.